the history of our period. I wanted this dress in black. This might be my new favorite appliance. Ooh, girl. Monday so today's Monday I went to sleep like at 5 I woke up at 9 then I drifted off back to sleep and woke up at 10 and anyways I got some mail that I'm gonna share with you guys I just got off the phone we are doing a vision board workshop for bloggers so Vida and I are basically doing the same event that we just had but this is going to be for bloggers so they put a list together of Latina bloggers that they're inviting to do their vision boards Vida and I are going to be leading it and I am so 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 excited for this opportunity so I just got off the phone with them and we spoke about like all of the details they wanted to know how my event went down so that they can obviously you know um plan their event around that and i'm just so excited like this is such a blessing this vision board workshop came literally like i'm just so excited okay so anyways i just got a package in the mail from eloqui eloqui is like the plus size version of zara like you know how zara has like on trend great quality uh pieces Eloquy is very similar to that them in the plus size world. I just never ordered from them because their plus size doesn't start at a size 14, which is so freaking annoying. I wish that all plus size brands started at a size 12 because to me, once you get to the double digits, it's plus. That is my personal take. So I really wish that they would start even at a size 10, but they started at a 14. They have very few selection of items that actually are 12, but all the items that I ordered today are a size 14. I bought them anyways because I figured, you know, I can get them tailored and I just wanted to try their stuff. So this is the first item inspired by Thug Nanny. It's a gingham skirt. It has pockets. Love, love, love. The length is great. The material is like really great. You can tell it's like it's just gonna last me forever. And I just felt like this was such a classic item to have in my closet. I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it, which is why I got it. I do need to get it tailored and have it taken up in like an inch or two at the waist so it can fit a little better, but love. The next item is this gorgeous red dress. I was actually so mad because I wanted this dress in black. Um, obviously, I'm going to be wearing a faja under this little shapewear. You know, I cannot wear any dresses without shapewear. Um, I wanted this in black, and by the time I went to check out the car, it was sold out. Stop, Rico. It was sold out in my size, and I was so mad. Um, so I got the red because I felt like, okay, I could get a little red dress. I think it'd be perfect for the holidays, obviously. I am going to be doing, hopefully, a holiday lookbook with Denise and Marissa. Um, sorry, I'm wearing the wrong underwear for this. This is why I keep pulling it up. But I want to do a holiday lookbook with Denise and Marissa, and I just feel like this will look so good with my Louboutins and a chunky necklace and probably my hair back, pulled back. Um, I love the bell sleeves on this. And I just feel like it's a classic dress. Like, I can wear this. I just wish that I could have gotten the black because I feel like I would have gotten a lot more use out of the black. Like, I could wear the black a lot more times and people wouldn't notice um, if I switch it up, but whatever. Um, obviously, this is a 14. I'm a 12. I am going to get it taken in. I have to get it taken in at the waist um, and the back. I think the bottom is fine. God, I really need to wear a faja with this. But, yeah the dress so far i feel like if i belt this too it probably wouldn't be as noticeable that it is a size bigger i am dead over this dress like what are you even are you kidding me right now okay first of all faja will be worn for sure and i love the length of this dress too it's literally perfect because if i wear like one of those longer files you won't be able to see anything girl do you come on come on okay neckline first and foremost neck line you know i love a good off the shoulder and i will be rocking it all year i do not care what the season is bell sleeves as you can see bell sleeves are all the rage i kind of feel like a mermaid right now <laughs> okay this is like my fins my tail I'm obsessed with emerald at the moment, so I just had to get this dress. Even though on camera I feel like it's coming off a little bit more aqua colored, but it's definitely like a, well, it's like a blue-based green, 
but I love, I'm loving green and emerald and jewel tone, so I just had to get this dress. Then obviously it has sequins on it, so I just thought it was perfect. I am going to New Orleans for New Year's. I'm gonna wear this for New Year's in New Orleans and um i'm so excited i am so first of all i'm so excited to go to new orleans for christmas and I'm, i mean for new year's and i'm just excited to wear this dress like i'm so glad i got it i was very hesitant they do have it in black and they have it in like gold and they have it in silver i believe um but i just had to get this color because it was just so different and i don't own anything like this and the fit is amazing i don't think i'll be getting this one tailored um well may maybe i can a little at the waist like a little teensy tiny bit at the waist nothing crazy um, I like that it's a little loose and not super tight. So I guess if you order this dress, um, you might want to size up a little bit. Maybe the 12 would have been a little tighter. I don't know. Um, absolutely love it. Cannot wait. Wait, not that angle because my booty looks flat <laughs> much better right here. I swear, do you have like an angle that your butt looks like more flatter? My, I feel like mine's is more popping when I turn to this side and I poke it out a little bit. But then... If I do this, you see kind of how flat it looks? Oh, uh -uh, girl. And this tummy. Don't worry. With the faha. You got to learn your angles, okay? Look at this. If I suck it in, though, then it looks like I have no booty. But if I stick it out and then suck it in. Oh, girl. It's too much work sometimes. All right, guys. I can't wait to shoot in this dress. I really hope that we get to film this lookbook because I need, like, bomb-ass photographs in this dress so that I can print them out and frame them in my apartment. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work now. I do have some emails to send. Um, I need to go pay my rent. I haven't had the time to do it because it's been crazy these last few days, especially with the event. But the thing is, I was gonna go today, but my mirror from Impressions Vanity is on the way. I just don't know what time it gets here, so I'm really scared that I'm gonna go pay this rent and then the UPS guy comes and I'm not here. But I'm really nervous because I just I just want to pay my rent and get out of the way. So I think what I'm going to do is just leave a note at the front telling him to leave the package with the neighbor so that I can go pay this rent because I just don't want to have that monkey hanging off my back. I just want to pay and get, get it over with. So, all right, bye. Hey guys, so it is 6.25. I cooked a little something. Worked a lot today. I swear I had like seven phone calls back to back. Not even kidding with you. Um, I got my impressions vanity package. Couldn't go pay my rent because I was waiting for this damn package. And it was actually supposed to be two items and I only got one. So I'm like, where is my other box? And I'm checking the order online right now. And um, yeah, it says this shipment contains two items. And when the UPS guy came, I'm like, where's the other box? It's really big, whatever. He's like, oh, well, it's only one. I I'm about to send them an email. But anyways, let me show you guys what I ordered because I'm really excited. I just wish the other part got here. So, sale on Black Friday for 30% off. And I had been wanting to kind of upgrade my vanity for a while. And I went to Generation Beauty and they had um, the Impressions Vanity booth there. And I was able to check out their stuff. And I was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with their mirrors. So what I'm gonna do is, and I'll show you guys later on, I decided to keep my original vanity. And then I'm gonna take the mirror off my vanity and add the vanity that I bought from them. So I bought an actual vanity mirror with all the light bulbs and then i got this which is the touch pro it's a led makeup mirror that has bluetooth audio and a usb charger and i love this because obviously like getting ready and putting my makeup on is a really huge part of my routine it's very therapeutic for me like i love to zone out and listen to music or podcasts while i'm doing my makeup and i love that this has bluetooth audio and it has a usb charger because i always forget to charge my phone before i go to events so this way i can be charging my phone and listening to podcasts and um um, or audiobooks or music as I'm getting ready. So I got the black one and I just opened it a little bit. I was actually talking to Ileana on FaceTime and she was like, girl, you need to turn your camera on and vlog this. So this is actually pretty big. It's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. For some reason, I thought it was going to be like this size of this notebook. But as you can see, it's, it's pretty big. I'm actually very impressed. So... Let's unbox it together. So this is what it looks like. This is the back. And then, let's see. Right here on the bottom is the USB port. I don't know if you guys can see cause this is black. But the USB port and then the 
on and off buttons, volume up and down, take your call, pause and play. So I'm just gonna put it together. This the stand that it comes in. So I just pop it in like this. So I saw this in Kohl's and I figured, well, let me check the price because maybe it might come out cheaper in Kohl's with like all those Kohl cash discounts and stuff. Um, but it didn't. So obviously I still ended up going with my purchase online. So I'll put the link down below to this specific vanity mirror and as well as the one that I purchased for my, um, for my actual vanity. And then I'll do a little vanity makeover oh my god i should probably put a bra <laughs> i'll do a little vanity makeover video with you guys to kind of show you how i was able to upgrade my vanity without having to invest like a thousand dollars which is what i was looking at at first because those freaking vanities from impressions from impressions vanity are really really nice and the whole unit is like a g but my man's i had i had to i couldn't do it so i'm really really impressed at how big this thing is like okay wait but how does it work i'm really surprised that this didn't come with like instructions because usually when you buy something it comes with like, instructions or am i like the only psycho person that actually is actually interested in reading some type of instructions when you purchase a product okay let's see how this dimmer works okay like are you supposed to put it to charge for like 20 minutes i need some answers and i don't have any so i'm assuming that you have to actually charge it and this is the charger for it so you plug it in here like this shit is not even blinking or nothing can a little can a girl get a little blink all right guys i'll be back with an update <laughs> eventually <laughs> I just got home from walking Rico. I love listening to um, podcasts whenever I'm walking him. Um, I typically like to listen to that or just zone out and listen to music. Like I'll put my phone on airplane mode and I'll just listen to a podcast or um, music. And I love podcasts. They've been like my new favorite things to listen to. I love business podcasts. I love like um, podcasts that are done by people of color because they have an interesting perspective on what's going on right now in pop culture, politics, um, business, all of that. So I love supporting those type of podcasts. And one of my new favorite podcasts as of late is actually by a Latina. Her name is, her name is Linda, but she goes by Loose Warrior on Instagram and on in the podcast world. Her podcast is called let there be loose and she has a series on her podcast right now that is all about the moon cycle so if you guys don't know the moon cycle actually correlates hand in hand with our menstrual cycle so she did a very in-depth series on the moon how it correlates to our cycle um and it's actually been very interesting to learn the history of our periods and how they went from being something that was so magical and beautiful to something that is very shame shameful and embarrassing for women to go through so she's just trying she's just educating you on the history of it all and why you should embrace your period instead of like shame it and hate it and i've learned a lot and it has definitely changed my perspective on my period and the way that i view it and the episode that i was listening to today was actually really interesting it was called the red moon versus the white moon and basically she talks about basically your period um lines up or should line up eventually with the moon cycle so there's a red moon and there's a white moon if your cycle matches up against the full moon when the moon is full then you're part of the red moon gang as linda calls it um but if your cycle matches up with the new moon then you're part of the white moon gang so i'm actually part of the red moon gang 
today is actually the first day of the full moon and today is also the first day of my cycle tmi but just thought i'd let you know so it was really interesting to hear the information about the red moon and the women that are on that cycle and i think you guys should really listen to that episode i feel like it's very important informative listen to the whole series but that episode alone is super informative and i learned that women that are on the red moon cycle are basically women that are like your energy is definitely built to create you have a lot of magic around you um, as far as creating businesses, just being creative. Um, and then usually the white moon women are just very motherly in that motherly stage. I mean, I'm summarizing what I heard, what I listened to. It's a lot more in depth. So I feel like you guys should check it out. I feel like I definitely learned a lot about my cycle. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make dinner. I'm not going to make anything too heavy because I did eat pasta around four. That's been my go-to dinner just because I've been having a lot of work on my plate. So it's been really easy to just use that Trader Joe pasta that I showed you guys the other day. Add some olive oil to it or a little bit of sauce and eat that. Um, today I had some of the garlic and basil pasta with a little bit of the soy riso, which is soy chorizo from Trader Joe's. Added some of the sauce, a little bit of garlic, and had that with the pasta. So I'm actually going to be using a new tool, a new appliance, I should say, that I just got from Maritza. Like, I keep telling her to stop buying me stuff, and this woman cannot stop. So she got me this really cool air fryer guys check this out so this is actually an air fryer it's like the hot new device that everyone is obsessing over a lot of you guys have actually mentioned it to me when i was putting my registry together and um i was so excited when she told me that she got me an air fryer i was like no you did not woman i love that it's red because it matches my teapot it's just funny how a lot of my appliances and things in my kitchen are just color i didn't want any like black or boring appliances i wanted colorful stuff and i love the red i feel like it really pops against a black splash and my countertop so basically you put your food in here and what it does is it fries your food using air so you get that crispy and crunchiness of fried food without that extra additional fat um a lot of people are obsessed with it i know maritza has one um she has one that's a little bigger than this and she says that she loves it so today i'm actually going to make some sweet potato fries because i have a bunch of sweet potatoes um so i am going to air fry them up and have them for dinner today so let's see how this goes <laughs> I'm gonna have to play around with the recipe to um get the perfect fries. And it also said that the potatoes should be fresh, that the fresher they are, the better they will taste. And these potatoes are a little old. So I'm pretty sure that what I'm pretty sure that's why they don't taste like the best sweet potato fries ever. But 
They're not bad. I'm gonna eat them all. This might be my new favorite appliance. I'm gonna make some air fried veggies in there and I'm gonna make some fried chicken in there. Mm, you just wait. Just wait for it. Ooh, girl. Con mi burrito sabanero voy camino de Belén Con mi burrito sabanero